Welcome to Infa Minutes. We take problem on direct and bending stresses. We first take problem on symmetrical rectangular column. Our problem statement is a short column of rectangular cross section 80 mm into 60 mm carries the load of 40 kN at a point 20 mm from the longer side and 35 mm from the shorter side. Determine the maximum compressive and maximum tensile stresses. So we first draw the figure of this given rectangular cross section column. This is the front view and this is the top view which shows the cross section of the column. We see we have centroidal xx axis and centroidal yy axis which passes through the center since our section is symmetrical. The width and depth of a rectangular cross section column is 80 mm and 60 mm respectively. Now on this cross section we have this load P which is acting vertically downward and at eccentric distance ex from ex equal to 20 mm from the longer side which is your width and EY equal to 35 mm from the shorter side which is your depth. Now since no information is given about the orientation of column, we consider the column such that the longer side is along the positive XX axis and shorter side is along positive YY axis. Also we consider the load to be at the first quadrant as shown in the figure. Now in this problem the given data are first the load P is equal to 40 kN which is equal to 40 into 10 to the power 3 Newton. Second your EX is 20 mm and EY is 35 mm. Now in this problem we have been asked to find first your maximum compressive stress and second your maximum tensile stress. So let's solve the problem. So solution we know that due to load P there will be both direct stress sigma D and bending stress sigma B due to bending of cross section about both centroidal XX and centroidal YY axis. Since the bending stresses are maximum at the extreme layers, we consider these four extreme points of the cross section A, B, C and A respectively. Now total stress at any point will be given as algebraic sum of addition of your direct stress plus bending stress about XX axis plus bending stress about YY axis. Now we see that due to the compressive load P, all the points will be subjected to uniform compression. Also due to load P, they will be bending about XX axis such that your point A and B will be subjected to compression and point C and D will be subjected to tension. Also due to bending of the cross section about YY axis your point B and C will be subjected to compression and C and D will be subjected to tension. So from this we can say your maximum compressive stress will be at B and your maximum tension or tensile stress will be at point C. Now if suppose your cross section bends about XX axis we see that since your section is symmetrical about xx axis, we have your y max of compression same as that of y max of tension. Hence, your sigma max of compression about xx axis is same as that of sigma max of tension about xx axis. Similarly, if the cross section bends about yy axis, since your section is symmetrical about yy axis also, we have your x max of compression same as that of x max of tension. So we have sigma max of compression about yy axis same as that of sigma max of tension about yy axis. Now considering bending about xx axis we have sigma max of compression given as mxx upon ixx into y max of compression. Now mxx is nothing but p into ex upon ixx is nothing but bd cube by 12 and y max of compression is nothing but half of this depth d. So upon substituting the values we have 40 into 10 to the power 3 into ex is 20 upon 80 into 60 cube by 12 multiplied by 60 by 2. So upon solving we get sigma max of compression as 16.67 newton per mm square. And due to symmetry we have sigma max of tension also equal to the same value which is 16.67 newton per mm square.